Hey, it's Mario and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. This one is the atmosphere part two, covering the atmosphere's vertical structure. Okay, so the atmosphere is divided into layers. In all of the layers, pressure and density both decrease with an increase in height. So the primary distinction between the layers is due to the temperature profile, or more specifically, the lapse rate. The lapse rate is the rate at which the temperature decreases with height. The first layer of the atmosphere, the one we're most interested in, is the troposphere. Almost all weather and almost all flight operations occur in the troposphere. Within the troposphere, temperature decreases with height, a fact that plays an important role in weather generation. The troposphere starts at the surface and extends upward to the tropopause. The height of the tropopause varies widely from as low as 23,000 feet over the poles during the winter to as high as 63,000 feet over the equator. In the troposphere, temperature decreases with an increase in height. This trend of getting colder as we go higher is a positive lapse rate. Average temperature at the surface in mid-latitude is around 15 degrees Celsius, and temperature falls to about minus 56 degrees Celsius at the tropopause. Next up are the stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Each of these layers has a lapse rate that is different from the troposphere. Of particular interest is the stratosphere, in which the temperature increases with height due to the ozone layer. This negative lapse rate results in very stable air and the elimination of vertical currents, which is why water vapor, condensation nuclei, and turbulence don't normally extend into the stratosphere. Within the main layers of the atmosphere are some secondary layers of interest. Within the mesosphere and thermosphere, we have the ionosphere, a layer of ionized gas that influences radio transmissions. Within the stratosphere is the ozone layer, which absorbs UV radiation from the sun, resulting in the previously mentioned temperature rise. Finally, within the troposphere is the planetary boundary layer. The planetary boundary layer is the lowest layer of the troposphere and is important because the friction between the atmosphere and the Earth's surface influences the behavior of the wind and the generation of turbulence. The thickness of the planetary boundary layer varies widely with conditions, but averages around 3,000 feet. And there you have it. That is the vertical structure of the atmosphere. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and be be sure not to miss our next video by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking our Facebook page. And of course, until next time, onwards and upwards, thanks for watching.